So maybe you're from the US, but you're not living there right now. Whether you're a member of the military or you're living or studying abroad, you are still entitled to vote, and I really hope you do. To get started, you should fill out the federal postcard application. It's a form that lets citizens who don't live in the US or military voters, whether they're stationed in the US or abroad, to register to vote and request an absentee ballot all at once. There's a link to the form in the description, and the directions are a little different from state to state. So there's also a link where you can click on your state and it will give you specific instructions. Once you fill out an application, you'll mail it to your local official. There's a link to find their address in the description. While they recommend sending your postcard application by August 8th, the official deadlines vary from state to state, so make sure you check the link for your state's dates. You want to make sure it has time to arrive to your home election officials by mail, which can take a while when you're overseas. There's also a link in the description that lets you print out an envelope so that you don't even have to pay postage. Once you've applied, you'll get your ballot in the mail or in some states by email. Fill it out at your own pace and mail it or email it back by the recommended deadline on your state's instructions page. If it's after October 8th and you haven't gotten your ballot yet, there's a chance that you won't be able to fill it out and mail it back in in time to be counted on November 8th. In that case, you can fill out a backup write-in ballot. There's a PDF version in the links below and send it to your local election official so it can be counted in time. Keep in mind that the federal postcard application and the write-in absentee ballots are only for federal elections. If you want to vote in your local elections, which are really important, so I hope you do, you'll need to get a separate absentee ballot from your state. To find out how you can do that, go back and watch the video for how to vote in your home state. All of them have directions for how to vote absentee. There will be links to everything you need to fill out the federal postcard application in the description. Thank you for voting.